So I have to tell you that I, it was so funny. I went and we had dinner with John and Cherry Lynn and I was just talking about you and she was like, I was saying, I'm like, oh, I'm going to have her on a Zoom. I'm so, so excited. And Sherry's like, we're doing it. Like right when they were getting back from Arizona, right? And so mm -hmm. anyway, she messaged me and she's like, you have to hop on. She's on right now. And she's just pure fire, which I'm like, of course she is. Like I would expect nothing else, but it made me even more freaking excited that I was like, yeah, she's mine next week. <laughs> <laughs> my next week so I was laughing because you kept saying you're like I have really funny like dumb one-liners but honestly I want you to share every little one-liner you have tonight because oh my gosh I was just like these are just so good but so true you know and I think I feel like you know when you have like eight sentences but then you just cram it into one like those are my favorite things because I feel like you can remind yourself of it so much easier so um you guys, this is Kelly Brown. She's a brand new presidential diamond. Congratulations, Hi, my friend. Um, so proud of you. And she Thank is a mama you. of three girls and has been in just over four years. Or tell me, when was your four years? Yeah, uh, December 27th. Oh, so just like barely. Yeah. Which is so crazy, right? You guys, so we talk about this all the time. I always said like, you know, one of my visions that I struggled with a little bit when I started was just like the longevity, right? You get started and I think I had a very similar goal as you of like $500 extra a month. I mean, really, I was like, oh, if I hit that at the end of the year, like, this is amazing. <laughs> and so when people are upset with themselves, we're not hitting it in four months. I'm like, oh, my goal was a year, like literally, because I had no clue. But I remember thinking, like longevity was so hard for me to understand. Like even though things were building and they were, it was so fun and so exciting. I kept thinking, oh, this is good while it lasts. This is good while it lasts. Like for whatever reason, I could not wrap my head around this. This was like an actual career for people. Like for me, it was like, oh, for sure. I want to supplement my income, but like no way in crap. Are you going to take away or overcome my, you know, four year degree as a nurse and all this stuff. So I love that you're four years. I'm literally like days away from seven years. So, hey, we're old here and we're just here to tell you that you can have many years here at it works. So will you just share a little bit about you, how you found it works? Um, what, what like was it about it that you were like, yeah, I'm going to give it a go and just kind of like, you can just give like an overall of your story. I always say, I'm like, that's such a hard question, you guys when it's been so long, but you did really awesome on the other Zoom too. So just kind of give them a little rundown. Sure. So first, let me say thank you for asking me. It's an honor to be here with you guys tonight. And I don't know, I wouldn't say it's anything special other than I was just tired of saying no to everything extra. Okay. I was like, we're living paycheck to paycheck. And at the time we had a little tiny baby and our oldest was two, two, two and a half, something like that. And um, she kept wanting to be a ballerina. And I was like, there's not a whole lot that like you, have, you can tell me no to that I won't like figure out how to make happen. <laughs> that sounds kind of bad, but <laughs> that's the truth. So I was like, I know. I'm like, if it's really important to me, I just have the feeling like, well, then I'll just make it happen somehow. I, I mean, we grew up. I grew up in a trailer park with a single mom and we didn't have anything. So I grew up feeling like if there's something I really want, I'm just going to have to figure out a way to make it happen. That's what my mom would say. If there's anything you want, you just have to figure it out. I'm like, okay. So when it came to Nova taking dance classes, I was like, well, I'm just going to figure it out. Like, I don't know, you know? And so I saw Stacy and Sherry Lynn, um, posting and they had just gotten a $10,000 diamond bonus. And I was like, what are they doing? Like I saw Sherry Lynn's before and afters and I was like, she just, y'all, she just posted her belly on social media. So they asked me, Stacey asked me a few times and I was like, uh-huh, uh -huh. I can be a customer, but not a distributor. Okay. I don't do these things in high school. I couldn't sell candy bars to be like, get my cheerleading uniform. Okay. My, my mom, my poor little single mom buy $67 worth of candy bars so that I could get my cheerleading uniform because I was like, I can't sell nothing. Okay. So, um, but anyway, it was my husband actually, that was like, you know, they're really winning at this. Like, I don't know. They just got a $10,000 bonus. Like, what if it's real? And he's like, and what if like you actually like did good at it? I was like, I'm telling you the answer's no. Like I was like, the answer's no. And um, 
he's like, okay, well, if you just try it and then if you don't like it, then quit. You don't ever have to do it again. But if you don't try, you never know. And that is what I use to tell potential distributors now. When I'm talking to them, I will say to them, if you don't try, you'll never know. That's like a something I say all the time. Or I'll say to them, the only way you fail at this business is if you don't try. And that's usually always where they go, okay, I'll try. You know what I mean? So, <laughs> so that's like, I always use his go-to. <laughs> yeah. So I was like going, okay, I need $55 for dance classes and maybe like some for like going to Target or helping with groceries would be awesome or whatever like that. So that was literally my year goal was like, if I could just be Ruby in a year, we'd be solid. But I didn't even... <laughs> I didn't even think I could go Ruby. I was like, oh, I don't know about all this. So anyway, here I am four years later and my husband just went triple diamond and I just went presidential. Um, and a hundred and I don't know, $17,000 in bonuses and a substantial six figure income. And I just go never in a million gajillion, whatever kind of alien word you want to say years. Would I ever think that this would be me ever Okay, but my husband is now retired at home. He's actually chasing my tiny people right now. I can hear them <laughs> screaming and laughing. <laughs> I, just heard chaser mine. I took mine and I was like, I just heard the garage door come open and I'm like, oh, mom is in the office. I know. They know right now it's on lockdown. Okay. Yeah, no. yeah. <laughs> so my husband's home with me and this is, this is it for us. And we're pushing for ambassador. And I'm like, one thing I can say in the process is I sure didn't have enough belief that I could do this, but I also on the backside have the, I don't start things and not finish them thing. Yes. You know what I mean? So I'm like, I'm not sure how the heck, I don't know if I ever can, but I'm also not a quitter. So what the heck am I going to do? <laughs> right, right. Hey, it's kind of a good thing to do though, because I kind of feel the same way. I'm like, if I'm going to do something, like I'm going to do it. I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I'm going to figure it out. <laughs> yeah. Right. So, yeah. I mean, it's crazy, you guys. So, and she's, you know, here it is. And I love that you talk about this because I say this all the time, especially to new people that are just starting. We have a lot of new people. I'm sure just as all of you guys, enrollments are crazy, you guys. And that just shows like people are looking for this, whether it looks great on the outside, you don't have to be unhappy. You don't have to hate your job people are still looking for extra income. I mean, I, I didn't feel like we were in a bad place, but I was like, dang, I gave that $500 of value. Like you already knew in your mind, this is dance class. Like this is what groceries are. And you guys, that's the stuff that, that's the stuff that is relatable to people. And so like when they first start, I always tell my new people too, I'm like, Hey, I'm like, what is $200 extra to you? Like, seriously, wh what does it go to? Like, give it a bill. Like, give it some sort of value that makes sense to you. Not just $200. Like, what is that? You know, and I love that you say that because that is truly what I thought. I was like, you know what? Like, I already want to use the products anyways, which I would love to do to have that covered. But then I was like, I want to be able to stay home like one extra shift. Or if they're like, hey, Sarah, which this didn't happen very often because we were like, at the busiest freaking hospital of all times. But if they were like, Hey, we're low census. Like who wants to go home? I remember sitting there thinking like, Ooh, man, like I would love to go home. So my day's not shot as I'm sitting here working nights. But then I also knew like we have bills to pay or we have a vacation that's coming up or, you know, you guys, you, you don't have those choices. And that's what most people are used to. And so the funny thing is, is like, as you start getting going, it's like, this is something where you can have finances, but you also have freedom. And I feel like sometimes if people have the freedom, it's because they've given up the finances of things, right? So they're really like on a strict budget. Yes, they're doing what they want to do, but they're still stressed out. Or it's like financially they are set, but they don't have the freedom. Like they can't just go and they don't have all these extra options because their time is tied to somebody else. So tell them, okay, so last month you guys heard her say, so um, she went presidential diamond. She got a rank up bonus. Her husband, Andrew, also went triple diamond. So a lot of times you guys, when you are hearing people, um, a lot of us sign our husbands up, not because our husbands are necessarily doing the business, but more so like, hey, we're going to be building anyways. Like why not build two paychecks? 
And so when you hear her talk about that, that's it. Like I'm sure Andrew has way different roles than he, you know, he's probably not the one sitting there and rolling and posting and doing all those things. Right. But I love how you talk about how you're like, we are definitely a team and I still need him. <laughs> so talk about last month. I mean, that is just crazy. And how long was that goal of going presidential? So you had gone, how fast did you go triple diamond? Like what was your little like? Um, in, in 16 months. Okay. In 16 months. But then I panicked and I was like, now what the heck do I do? Like deer in headlights. You know what I mean? What do you do when yeah. you get afraid or you panic? You freeze. What does a deer do? Freezes. And then what happens? Gets hit by the car. Okay. So I got hit by the fear train and I was like, what the heck do I do? I don't know what to do next. And I panicked. So instead of doing the everyday tasks that it takes, just what it takes to go Ruby, you then your capacity expands. You're like, okay, I got the hang of this. Now I'm just going to do more of it. That's how you go Emerald. Okay. Now I want to go diamond. I'm going to do the exact same tasks. Only I'm going to do a little more of it. And your capacity grows again. Well, I got to triple diamond and I just freaked out. I froze. Okay. And then stuff starts to crumble and then it takes a while. It's hard to build momentum, but once you get it going, it's easy to lose it. So when that train gets chugging, don't get off. Don't get off sister. Don't get off. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, so then I kind of panicked. I had a baby. We moved, you know, life happens. Life happens to everybody. Um, but in October, of this last year, 20, whatever the year is, 18. Okay. And my, my husband had come home. We moved from Texas back to Nevada to be by family because I have three little tiny girls and, um, and my paycheck was the lowest it had been. And I'm not sure how long, like a couple of years or something like that. I don't know. And it went way down low. And I was like, Gulp. if I don't do something, Andrew's going to have to get a job. If I don't do something, I'm going to lose, but I'm not a quitter. So what the heck am I going to do? You know what I mean? I'm, I refuse to quit, but I'm also refusing to win. Does that make sense? And you can't do both. You can't decide for yourself. I'm not going to quit, but I'm also terrified of winning. That doesn't make any sense. You're going to lose if you do that. So it was dwindling down. You know what I mean? And I just decided, okay, when you hear on tips from the top or on, um, what's that called? Show me the money call on Monday nights. And you hear people say, I just decided that used to get on my daggum nerves, to be honest with you. It did because I hear them say, and I'm like, how many times have I just decided? Uh, numerous times. I just decided I'm going double diamond this month. And I write it on my mirror and I write it on my wall, a window to the wall. I love it. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I'm writing it everywhere. I'm going double diamond. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Right. And so, but what happens? Nothing. Cause my action didn't meet my expectation. Right. And I, now did I ever stop working the business? The answer is no. Did I hustle hard? The answer is yes. But on the inside, I didn't believe I could do it. I just didn't. I was like, if I can barely be triple diamond, how the heck am I ever supposed to build a triple diamond? I'd build the same diamond leg over and over and over again, or I'd be doing the same stuff over and over. I'm listening to the show me the monies. I didn't miss one show me the money, okay? Show me the money. And I'm doing my tasks, but on the inside, I did not decide I was going to go forward. So when you hear people say, I decided, what the heck does that mean? Because in October, I just decided. What that means is I didn't, I, I started listening to my leaders and my team. And I would hear people say, this isn't working for me. I don't know why it's not working for me. And people will quit or get down or, you know, whatever. And you turn to your leaders and you want to hear them be excited with you. And I would draw my excitement from where my leaders were at. And I would look at them and go, okay, are you guys ready to go with me? And their response would be, everybody's quitting. I don't know if this is going to work for me. I'm not quitting. I'm still here. And then I would get back in the sinking ship. Don't get in the dang sinking ship. You're the dang captain. You steer the mug up this river. Okay. So in October, I made the decision. I don't care who says they're going or not. I'm going. It, you're not in control. You're not in control. I'm looking at my giant chart. Okay. I have this giant chart on my wall. 
So-and-so is not in control. Their attitude, how they feel that day is not in control. I am. What do great entrepreneurs do to be successful? They get their booty up at 4.30 in the morning and they fill up their cup. So what did I do? I don't know how to be no entrepreneur, but what I do know how to do is work hard. And the only thing I'm missing is my cup is running on empty. Okay, so I come into this office where I'm sitting in here in my pajamas and I come here at 4.30, I'm turning on YouTube, okay? I'm getting out my books, wherever the heck my books are. Oh, over in my seating spot over here because this is where I was this morning at 4.30. You know what I mean? I'm like, I got tiny people. They wake up at 6 a.m. Well, I can't control it, so I just got to get up earlier. So I go to bed early. I get up early. I come in here because as soon as somebody comes at me that's negative or discouraged, if I my cup's not full, I have nothing to pour on them. If my cup is empty, what are they going to drain from? An empty cup? I mean, that doesn't make sense, right? So when I decided for myself, I am going to do whatever it takes. I'm going to do everything I know how to do. And I'm going to make sure my cup is overflowing with encouragement, with words of wisdom, with love, with grace. And I'm going to teach exactly what I know how to do. And my business exploded. I mean, Andrew was paid rank executive in October. And he's about to go presidential this month. It's, only because I decided it's so crazy. And I feel like, you know, what's funny is I've just, I've known you for a long time. So people are on here and they're like, Oh, like that's like one in a million. Right. Or they're thinking like you have this secret sauce or like you did something. We'll talk about like what you do daily. If you have specific numbers, I, I know people just love numbers, that type of thing. But the thing is, is I remember the same thing. Like I had this huge, I had to have this shift and I, you guys, I don't know, we can't tell you when it will happen, but it will happen at some point where you, like you said, you've been pouring from a cup that you haven't been filling for a long time, or you've had this amazing momentum. Like beginning, I remember it was like promotion every single month. And I was like, oh my gosh, like executive Ruby, you know, that's when I signed up was during that time. Yeah. And it was like, you know what? That's awesome. But guess what? You guys, that's not reality because it takes a whole lot longer to go triple in presidential and, um, you know, ambassador and all these different things than just one month, you know? And so you kind of, or, or there's seasons of the business or there's seasons of life for other people. Like those things start getting in the mix. And you know, what's funny is you talk about this and it's like, you do wonder like, well, what the heck? Or you hear people say, I want that. And then your next question is kind of like, but are you willing to put the work in for it? Like, we all want what's next, right? We want those numbers. We know exactly what we would do with it, but do we know exactly what we're going to do to get there? Like, you're going to have to give some things up. You're going to, like you said, who wants to set their alarm for 430? Like most people are like, oh, hell no, I'm not doing that. You know, and I remember I thought the same thing until last summer, I woke up every single day and power houred, knowing that I had boys home with me all summer long. And you know what? our team built so much freaking momentum from that, that I was like, heck yeah, I'm getting up at five o'clock in the morning again. Like you don't want to change it, but you know, what's funny. So your hardest uphill battle was, you know, triple to press, right? That's where you're like, holy cow. Like when we talk about self growth, like you growing into a leader, like you taking the reins, like you talked about, I'm going to be the captain. It's funny because mine was I went um, every single month, so four months, I went double diamond. I got a $10,000 bonus just like you got. And I remember thinking, and we didn't have double diamond bonuses at that point. But, and then I was already set for triple and then somebody quit, right? It was like my biggest leg quit. Why would you quit when you're almost double diamond? Honestly, you got, you know, who freaking knows? But like, it doesn't make sense, but you can't spend time trying to make sense of it, you know? And so it was crazy because I, same thing, I got stuck there. I was like, whoa, like I didn't even know people quit at that point. Like I'm only five or six months in. I'm like, what do you mean people quit? Like I'm not a quitter. And so, you know, you, and then you kind of take it personally. Like, should I have done something? Like, what didn't I do? So you go into this thing and just like you said, it's like you get smoked by this car, right? And I remember it was like this turning moment in December. And I'm thinking, wait a second, like this just paid for all of your Christmas. You just made an extra like 3000 to $4,000. 
And like, you're upset because you didn't go triple the month you thought you were going to go. Like it was just this huge, like smack across the face, like girl, wake up. Like you, this is your first Christmas and you've never, ever, ever like had, didn't like, you didn't have to work extra. Like that's what you started for. Like freaking keep going. And it was so funny, but it took me a long time. Like it took a lot. And so I told people, I'm like, I couldn't base what I was doing based off of a promotion, based off of results. Like I did it based off of what I could control, what my enrollments were looking like, who I could help. And I kept going. And you know what, you guys, yeah, it took me a freaking long time or what felt like years to go from double to triple. But then I had so much momentum from that, that many months of cramming that together that it was like literally press followed four months later. Like, which is crazy, right? Because your triple came super fast. And you guys, I remember thinking like, what the hell's wrong with me? Like other people are going triple. <laughs> like that's not hard for them. But then maybe ambassador was hard for them or whatever it is. So like the comparison game can holy cow, like knock you right off your booty. So I, I mean, so you had this goal. So you started in October and then you did this in four months and you guys, I just have to brag on you a little bit. Um, you know, we talk about how much, potential this business seriously has. And yes, I always say this, you guys, you can make money elsewhere, right? You can make good money even elsewhere, but can you make good money while also producing residual income that's going to pay you for years on end? Like there, that's the big question between job, corporate jobs and things like that and what you can do here with it works. So the fact that Kelly gave herself a 27,000, yeah, you heard me right. $27,000 raise in four months. You guys, that's unheard of in most jobs. Here, she made a decision. Mark's not telling her, oh gosh, Kelly, you're going way too fast. Like I'm, I'm literally writing a triple check compared to what I wrote to you, you know, whatever. He's like, girl, keep going. You know, and that is the power behind this business. And it's crazy to me that that is even possible. But the same thing, I tell people all the time, I'm like, I think what was one of my biggest? I think one of my biggest jumps was like 19,000 in one month. And it was that hurdle of going triple to press, like the biggest, right? So is that probably like your biggest raise you've given yourself? Mm -hmm. And when you look back, are you like, gosh, dang it, that was flipping worth it. <laughs> yeah. Right? Yeah. Like you're never going to look back and be like, oh, I'm so mad that I got up at 430 or I'm so mad that I got super organized and super like, holy crap, blinders on and intentional, like you did it. Right. And so, you know, I was on your zoom and you said there was like this shift that you had and it was a decision you made, but obviously there was a mindset that came with it. There was some serious like organization skills that had to come forth. Um, so can you just kind of share like, what was it? I know that it was like, you know, you had that moment of like, whoa, like I'm not okay with this. And I'm also not quitting, which is crazy you guys, because that's where a lot of people do walk out. But it's like, if Kelly would have walked out, not only would she have missed this, but so would have her entire team. Like Kelly going prez means there was a heck of a lot of freaking, like how many personally enrolled diamonds happened for you in, for when you went prez? A lot. A lot. And so you guys, like you think about the number, but that is what I finally went back. And when you're like wondering like, how the heck did that just happen, right? Because you've never had a $27,000 raise. I had never had a $19,000 raise in a month. And I'm like, what was different? And you know what, you guys, it was months on end working together. And all of a sudden, I think I popped like seven diamonds that were my girls that I had enrolled. And that's what it came from. So uh, yeah, how many did you, how many did you have? Do you remember? Um, I don't. I mean, uh, one, two, three, four, five, 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 I think. There's more under them. I have like yes. personally, I, know. I have a lot of personally enrolled because I enroll a lot of my own chart. Which is, which is amazing because you guys, when you're looking like that was another thing, um, you know, you would hear people say like their check is above average. It's because they're enrolling. Right. Like they're not waiting for somebody to build their team. And so Kelly, just tell us like, what, what do you, what does your day-to-day -day business look like? The thing is, is that you do work your business like a business. Like this is not a hobby to you. Mm -hmm. And so there's a huge difference. Like you're not looking for a way out or like pushing 
your business off to the last minute to see if you have extra time in your day, right? So we kind of see that sometimes in the beginning and that's okay as people are trying to figure this out and do that. But still, like even in the beginning, I know I showed up every single day. And that's the thing that I always tell people. I'm like, you know what? I was not looking for an excuse to not have this work for me. Like I had built my way to the top of the hospital. Like I wanted this to work because I wanted more time at home, you know? So tell them like what you're doing stuff daily. You are doing it consistently. Like you are not letting life get in the way anymore, right? Like you're like, this is it. These are my non-negotiables. So what does your day look like and what actions that you do that you take? So it's, I'm posting three times a day on social media and then I will go and steal other people's Insta stories and Facebook stories. And I post those, <laughs> whatever good ones I can find. <laughs> used to be a really great copycat, right? <laughs> um, and so I'm posting a, you know, a life post, a business post, a product post. Um, and I'm talking to my team daily. Um, I follow up daily. So if I've talked to somebody the day before, like I remember there's this girl that's supposed to be signing up from Instagram as a distributor. And I talked to her yesterday and I talked to her again today. I re-messaged her again. So typically I'm following up the next day. If somebody said they were going to sign up yesterday, they didn't, I'm talking to them the very next day. So I follow up with the people that I'm like, you know, on the edge with. And I'm making sure I tell my story. So if you're wanting to sign more distributors and you're going, gosh, I'm just really signing a lot of customers, but I need teammates. If you got coupon codes, you need to be slanging them coupon codes like hotcakes. Okay. And so you're telling your story in different ways every day. So I was telling my story. Now I'm slowing down a little bit on my story because I'm out of coupon codes and I've got a whole bunch of new personally enrolled DTs. So I need Elsie's. Yeah. And <laughs> so now I'm focused on putting up my good before and afters. Yeah, I got to swing that pendulum the other way. Um, so, you know, so I'm working with all my new people. I'm posting consistently and growing my friends. So I built majority of my business on Instagram now with host of host and with all the changes between the two platforms, I'm building majority on Facebook. Now I still sign people from Instagram because they, there is a platform there, but I'm doing most of my work on Facebook. Okay. Um, what I can say the difference between being in Texas and being here is two things. One, my husband came home and my people are tiny. Okay. And so they consume a lot of my time and effort. <laughs> They're, well, they're seven, five, and one, but the one-year-old is the major. Okay. <laughs> so bringing him home has been a major game changer for me personally. Okay. For me to open up space and not be interrupted. Like right now, I, there wouldn't have been this time when he was working. Um, the other thing would be in Texas. Um, I would run errands. I got to run to target and get this. The girls need new leggings. I need to go get new leggings at target. I need to go do this. I need to go run this errand. I need to go now at this place where I'm at now in my business, I'm like, oh no, I don't have time to run to the post office. I don't have time to run to Target. Everything comes to me online if I need something. You know what I mean? I'm staying home and I'm focused. Anything that's optional right now in this season is a no. And that's going to sound like, oh yeah, you can say that because whatever, but it's just a decision I'm making to put my business. My business isn't first of my importance list, okay? but it is right up there. Okay. It might be number three, number two, <laughs> you know what I mean? So if something is optional, the answer is no right now, because we got a goal and we're on a time crunch mm -hmm. on a momentum swing. You know what I mean? So I'm staying still, I'm working my business, doing host to post, growing my friends. And I'm doing the things that it takes when I see my enrollment slow down in one direction, I make the change and make that start working. When I see my enrollment change over here, I make the change and make that start working for me. You know what I mean? And I'm just doing it consistently. It's not hard work, but if you work hard at it, there's a great return. Yeah. You know? Yep. And that's, so, and that's, I love that because it isn't hard work. And I always tell people like, if you get off track, like make yourself a list. Like if you're so easily distracted or you get in the scrolling stuff, because that doesn't make you any money. So it's like, if you get within that, like set a timer, like you got to know your weaknesses because we all have them. 
But once you acknowledge it, like you can work past it. And it's, and it's just a lot of determination. So when you're doing it, um, you know, I know for myself, I always tell people to like, you probably in your day, so you get up and you try to get in. What do you try to get in in the morning before the girls get up? Um, like, how you, huh? like how much, how much time do you think? I mean, an hour, an hour. Cause okay. they start trying to get up at five 30. <laughs> My people don't play. They want to come watch a show and snuggle you and they find you wherever you are in that house. So I'm up at 430 in part because most of my team I built was central and east coast. I, I do have some west coast. It wasn't on purpose. It was just how Instagram did me, did me dirty. And we moved back west, okay, to be by family. Now everybody is like awake and ahead of me. Every time when I wake up at 430, my phone is blown like it is right now with people asking questions, waiting for me to wake up. Yes. <laughs> Y'all, it's 4.30. Yeah, so. yeah, I hear mine too. And I'm like, oh, I'm like, that's my, I'm like, that's my Midwest team or that's this, you know, because obviously that's yep. where I grew up. But so that's what you try to do an hour. And then where are you squeezing in? Are you like, hey, I have office time from this to this. Or mm -hmm. do you do like hours, like just a power hour. And you're like, I'm going to literally nail this out. And then once kids are down, this is what I'm going to do. Like, what does it look like yep. for you? So I've got that hour in the morning. Then, then I'm helping get the girls ready for school, get the day going, whatever. Then once they're at school, I'm back to work until about 12 o'clock. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So I would say from that 8.15 to 12 o'clock frame right there um, is where I'm getting majority of my day done. So it's like, you know, a good three maybe four hours, maybe, mm -hmm. depending on how nap times go or how the day is, you know, whatever. But that three or four hours is where the majority of my day happens for my business. And then from there, it's, I'm doing it on the go or, you know, certain days of the week, we've got Zooms or power hours or whatever that happens. But majority is that morning time. Okay. Okay. And then nighttime, not so much. And then or uh, that time, you know, um, I put the girls to bed in about 30 minutes and they go to bed at eight. I, it depends on what I've got to get done. You know what I mean? If I haven't gotten my charts done, that takes a lot of time. So I'll come back in here yeah. for another hour before I go to bed, but because I'm getting up so early, I can't stay up late. Yeah. Or I don't function. And so, and that's the thing you guys. So it's like, yes, she is doing this full time. So if you're brand new, the thing is, is like, you just have to figure out where you can fit it in. For me, I remember just doing it like I, even if I was working, right? So I'm working 14 hour shifts. I'm the oddball. I'm working nights, right? So I'm wide awake when everyone else is sleeping. But I knew I could take 20 minutes or 30 minutes laying in bed once I got home from my shift. My, again, we did breakfast. Kids were off, right? Yes, it probably takes away from a little bit of my sleep. But honestly, you guys, like, I mean, who cares? Like, I was like, it's a half hour. Like, you can get a lot of crap done in a half hour. Like, I posted. I followed up with people. Um, I would send out a few messages, go to bed. I'd wake up with things happening, right? I'd wake up another half hour early, do the same thing before I'd shower and get ready for another shift. Phone calls, you guys. If I had people that wanted more info, I was like, hey, I'm in the car for 40 minutes for a commute. I will call you. Does this work for you? I did it in the mornings. I did it on my way in the evenings. And so this is something that you can do alongside of that. But I do think it's really important that you do set aside time. So if you're just trying to do it with like kids jumping around you, it's going to be really freaking hard to try to think of a post that actually has some feeling behind it, right? Like you're talking about, if you're going to be signing distributors, tell your story, say why you're starting, say why it is you wanted to start. What are you going for? Like you don't have to have this insane story. I mean, we all signed distributors, right? We were promoting like crazy in the beginning months. It wasn't because we had already paid off a ton of debt. It wasn't because we did, we had bonuses. It was because we were like ignorance on fire. And we knew what we wanted and we shared it out loud, you know? So, um, yeah. I love that you talk about that. One thing I totally want you to touch on is growing your network because I loved your little one liner and you're like, it's so dumb, but I'm like, Oh my God, but it's so true. And I wouldn't have, like, I talk about this all the time. So my team's just going to laugh anyways. But I say it, I was like, you know what, you guys, I'm like, I wish in the beginning we knew what we knew now, right? So I didn't even, I didn't even have an Instagram, but that's where I build majority, right? But I didn't even have one, like posted on Facebook, maybe once every month, you guys, 
like total lame person, right? Moved to Arizona, she's gone. Like, I don't know what happened to me. But I started this business and when you have a reason, I always say when you're posting for a purpose, there is something that makes you want to share, right? And so I always have a purpose usually behind what I'm going to be sharing for the day. And I love that because that makes me want to get on there and offer something to somebody somewhere. So um, tell them like one, I always tell people, one thing I wish I would have known in the beginning, and I feel like we really teach this, is growing your network. And I feel like for a while, until I started going, you know, um, to presidential ambassador and those types of things, you guys, I don't care how big your warm network is, you're probably not gonna build to triple or presidential with all people that you know. Like you're just not. So you're going to have to tap into some people that you don't know. And so one thing that I learned was like, I wish I would have did that from the start, even if I was like slowly doing it, you know? And it's like, but I had, that was something really new for me. Now, once you start doing it, you're like, uh, if I can build in my cold network and I can grow my network, I mean, literally you're unstoppable there, you will never run out of people. So, you know, in times where I'd be like, Oh, I don't have as much response on my polls or I don't have this or that. It's usually cause I've slacked on growing my network every single day. So tell them about like how you grow your network. Cause you are really big on doing that every single day. And you have some one liners that I love that I think people need to hear. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know where it comes from, but it does. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what I, one thing that I always am telling my team when they're saying, I'm not enrolling. Okay. We just went over this tonight with our leaders. Okay. If you've got teammates saying I'm, I'm trying, they're like trying to post, they show up to stuff, but they're just not enrolling. Okay. So part of this is not got anything to do with you being a good leader or a bad leader. Okay. It's just doing and teaching you do. And if it works for you, you teach, right? So um, one thing that we teach is to tell them, you know, you're posting a life post, product post, business post. If they're not doing the three, that's probably why they're not rolling. Okay. The next thing would be is growing their network. So yes, I utilize host to post. I utilize all the things that you hear people talk about, but one thing that really does work for me is just growing my friends. So we had a girl sign up. Okay. Well, there's a little group of them that signed up in Ohio. They came from Instagram. We didn't know each other. And one of them was like, okay, they're all like, they signed up going, okay, I just want to be where you're at in the business. I want to be triple diamond. I'm like, okay. So <laughs> okay. how many friends you got? <laughs> I'm way better at teaching the movie this. So, so the one of the three though, she's like, okay, I need a Facebook. So she starts a Facebook and she grows 5,000 friends in her first week. Okay. And everybody's like, wait, you sent out 5,000 friend requests. No, she grew 5,000 friends from zero to 5,000 in one week. And everybody went, huh? How did you do that? And she on average signs anywhere from 30 to 40 customers, about 15 distributors a month from Facebook. And she just started the end of November nice. and she just, it's all strangers, all cold market. She just didn't have a network at all. And she's like, well, you told me to get friends. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm you like, well, yes, I did. And do you know why? Do huh? So what did she do? What, what was she doing to get that? So it's just going to your newsfeed. Okay. And you know, you see advertisements. Mm -hmm. Okay. Don't go to toothless Gina's toothpaste <laughs> <laughs> advertisement. Okay. So advertisements that you'd actually be interested in. Okay. And you friend request the likers and the heart people. I always friend request the heart people first because I feel like I find that they tend to be nicer. Okay. Cause that means they like took it a step from, Oh, I like this too. Oh my gosh. I love it. I'm like, Oh my gosh, be my friend. <laughs> so I friend request all the heart people. And anyway, that's what Amy did and um, started friend requesting their friends. And you know that you can send out a thousand friend requests in one day. That's the maximum without getting blocked. The only trick is just don't go too fast. You can, yeah. So, or going to groups if people add you to groups. Every time I add friends and they add me to their groups, I friend request their friends in their groups. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I, don't care. I did that for a long time. I was like, if you're going to add me to this without even asking, boom, like I'm a really good friend. So all I'm friends. Gonna these people. <laughs> Yep. I'm like, give me all the friends. You want to be my friend anyways. You just don't know it yet. Yeah, exactly. So, 
there and then friends of friends and you can also go to local events in your area anything that you'd be interested in so like for instance i took the girls to disney on ice so i went to the disney on ice las vegas uh you know event page and friend request moms on there it wasn't as awesome but you know it did give me some good people <laughs> i find that groups tend to really do really do well but it also depends on what kind of groups, I guess. But anyhow, but what we say is, hey, if you're not enrolling, okay, and you're doing the, the job of doing the good posts, okay, mm -hmm. lately, everybody that I'm talking to one-on-one, -on -one, I get in these three-way messages, okay? My leader will say, I have a DT that's trying, but she's not enrolling anything. Okay, make a three-way. So we make a three-way, and I talk to the distributor and teach them, okay, let's look at your social media. And immediately, they're not posting the way, mm -hmm. you know, they should or their profile picture is dark or whatever, okay? And then from there we go, okay, if you're doing those tasks, the answer is, are you growing your friends? Because fresh fish jump first. That's <laughs> so that sounds stupid, right there. okay? Right there. But it's fresh fish jump first. So I'm rowing my boat and I want all the fish I can get. Distributors, little customers, I don't care what kind of fish you are, just get in my boat, Gina. So. <laughs> Fresh fish jump first. What happens is people sit around and watch you, whether they're your friends in real life or family in real life or friends that are strangers through social media and they've just been watching you, but they're thinking, okay? And I want the people that aren't gonna think about it. Let's don't think about it, chit chat about it, chew on it for a little while. Let's just jump in my boat and I'll show you what to do next, okay? Yes. And you will sign the people that you friend request. Every time I go and I send out a thousand friend requests, I can guarantee I will sign people the same day. And I will make sure I'm putting up my home run posts when I'm growing my friends. Okay, that's what I call it. I'm like, this is my real good before and after, my right hook, okay? <laughs> or if I need DTs, this is my real good story that people have responded to when I know I'm actively focusing on, you know, trying to enroll something. Fresh fish jump first. I, so. I, just, I love that. And, and I think it couldn't be more true. And that's the thing, you know, sometimes people all hear like, oh, but I have this person interested or, or this person's supposed to be signing. It's like, okay, but, but like we need now. Right. Mm -hmm. And it's like, and if that person has to think for a little bit, like 100% let her think, but don't wait for her. Like your promotion, you don't want your promotion to wait, right? And so I feel like that's a hard thing. And then all of a sudden people, when they're waiting and then this person takes a lot longer or maybe, you know, they ghost us, like they go in the witness protection program. We're like, wait a second, like you messaged me, you know? And I tell people, I'm like, it happens to everyone. The difference is, is I go until they're in my E-suite. Like they do not count until I see the little notification on my phone and I'm like, circling that and being like, boom, she's here, you know? And so I think like, that's one of the big things too, is that it is true. Like most of my loyal customers, I'll look back and it is people that I've just friended. It is people. And that's why I'll make sure you guys, like my stories are loaded, like locked and loaded. I have, if I'm doing, you know, um, opportunity stories or whatever, I am going to go friend 400 new people on Instagram. I don't even care if 60 see it. I hope to just sign two from that. Like how, I mean, that's literally what you kind of have to think. It's not like, I mean, I don't want 60 people to sign up. Like I would be getting my butt kicked. Right. So it's like, it would be great, but it's like, I'm looking for those ones that are ready right now. And so I love that you said that fresh fish jump first. And I think so many times people get super frustrated and they, maybe they are posting or maybe they are doing their stories, but the thing is, it's the same people seeing it. Right. You know, it's like, they're not, they're not going to do it. Like if they didn't do it yesterday, you might have new stories, but they don't care. They're not, they're not doing it, you know? And so you have to be, you have to be excited to do that. And I love, there's just so many ways that you can do it. And like I said, I love the things that you've shared on Facebook. Cause I think we all kind of do different stuff. And the truth is, is I work Instagram, but they find me on Facebook. So I'm like, I do go to both of them. You know, yeah, and you know, I would say too, is that I probably, my enrollment is probably split. It's half Instagram probably and half yeah. Facebook. But if you're working Instagram, I don't know how, how you guys do it for your team, but I teach my team to use Captivate and Cleaner. I do too. That's what I use. Yeah. And I work by the thousands. So I'll mm -hmm. run a thousand people at a time and just let it do it for and me. Do you do it 
like how often, so if you're saying a thousand, cause I know some people are in here like, holy crap here. I thought I was doing like five, right? But you also, again, you guys, like this goes with her goals, right? We just talked about how fast. Ambassador is my goal, right. An ambassador is her goal. There's a difference between Ruby and ambassador, clearly. But here's my question. When you're doing that thousand, are you doing that every single day? Like how many times a week are you doing that thousand for like your Facebook and your Instagram or do you kind of flip flop each day or how do you do it? I haven't been doing it as much on Instagram because there's, you know, 13,600 people sitting there. So it's kind of, and the stories and stuff kind of flow. So, yeah. but when I am actively doing it, I would say, you know, every few days I do it though. And, um, I, you know, kind of stir up the waters a little bit and then I don't have to do it for a little while because then you've got people coming in and I'll stir it up again and I'll run it again. Used to, I would load Captivate with like three or 4,000 and let it run for a week or whatever, but it won't do that anymore. So um, you can load a thousand, let a thousand run and then load another thousand and let a thousand run. But it's like thoughtless. So I'll find a good account on Instagram that I feel like has got good people that they're keeping up with and keeping their followers clean, you know, so it's not a ton of spam and junk. Yeah. Mm -hmm. right. And when I find a good one, I sink my teeth in it and I will run that account dry. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care how many hundred thousand people you got. <laughs> yeah, like, I'll keep running that until people start saying, Hey, you friend requested me a couple of times. Oh, I am so sorry. And then I don't go there anymore and I go find another place to go. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> and then for Facebook. So like right now I usually sign, you know, about 30 customers and I'm on, I've, done like 15 distributors so far, but I'm only on uh, nine loyal customers this month. That's not good. So now I know, okay, it's time to change my focus. I need to grow my friends. I'm putting up real good cleanse before and afters. I'm going to focus on real good coffee and greens. As Thermofix, Thermofidex catches up, then I'll start focusing real good on that one because I know I can get some good before and afters on that and hair, skin, and nails. And those are kind of where I stay. Is the ones I know I can give you a real good before and after and get you real interested quick. You know what I mean? And, um, and we also know those are like quick results. Like people, even coffee, even if they're not results, like I feel like within three days, you notice you feel different. Like you notice the difference in that. And so I love those things. And that's one thing I do really love about our products is just how fast you can see those things. So yeah, my, one of my favorite things was you just saying fresh fish jump first because I just feel like, we say grow your network and people are kind of like, oh my God, I am. But it's like, but are you really? And honestly, you guys, like be excited to grow your network. Like I have met some of the best people in this business that they were not my friends before, but you know what? It's like you grow, right? We're growing where people, we're, our dreams, we're chasing our dreams. You guys, we're not doing what a lot of people are willing to do. Right. And so it's like, these are people that are going to be your people. And so if they're, they kind of have the same vision, that type of thing, like there are some of my best of friends that I have met in this. And so when people are kind of worried about that, I'm like, Oh man, we got to get past that. Like it's, not, you know what I think is weird is like sitting there and thinking that these people that you've talked to for 30 days are going to do something different the next 30 days. I think that's weird. <laughs> I'm like, do not expect anything. Like, and honestly, if somebody doesn't want it, who freaking cares? You guys like move on. Like I've had friends that have still never signed up as a little customer. I mean, if you want to be tired and drabby, like you go do you girl, I'm going to be over here just like on cloud nine. So I love that you said that. Um, and I think, and really, I mean, you did not say a huge list. You said you post, you gave your three posts, you use stories and you do some host of posts. And that's the thing I've also loved about you, Kelly, is you've never just said like, oh, I am just host a post, you know, or I am just like, you are trying things and you have your hand in things. And as long as those enrollments are coming, you keep going. And mm -hmm. so that's the thing too, like don't, if it's not working, like try something new, you know, or do some of the things that you hear people talking about. So, okay. It's March 20th. We have 11 days left, which is crazy. I just, I'm going to be honest. Like I'm, I'm, I'm a fan of the, like the full months, not like, you know, February you promoted, we had tons of promotions. Like I think we seriously had almost a thousand promotions on our team for February, which is crazy. Um, but we actually have some time and sometimes this is again, like beginner mindset of, you know, like, oh my gosh, I still need 400 in volume or, you know, there's only 11 days left. And then it's funny because I always tell people like, what is hard 
becomes so easy. Like you're going to actually start enrolling 400 BV in a day. Like that's the crazy part. So we have 11 days left, which we know is actually a super long time. There's a whole lot of freaking magic that happens. There's a whole lot of volume, like thousands and thousands of volume that comes in. So first of all, let's talk about when you, I would say like, okay, in the last week of last month, how much volume did you still need when there were seven days left? Do you remember? You probably have it written down. I do. I do. Mm, um... Hang on, Sorry. I can tell you. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't give her this question prior. So it's like I'm putting. Yeah, her let me see. I can tell you. Oh, I can't. Twenty fourth buggers. Well, I can tell you this. On the twenty fourth, I was at eighty thousand. Okay, but that's total group volume. But you still need each ruby to have two thousand, each emerald to have five thousand, each. You know what I mean, like that. Yeah. So according to that, now if I dug out the other charts, that last month charts, I could tell you, really, really, really tell you. But so on the twenty fourth, huh? So on the twenty fourth, you still needed a minimum of twenty thousand total GB, but that's not getting everybody to the ranks. Right. Okay. So mm -hmm. that's right. So this is, so we have 11 days left. So what advice do you give your team right now for those who are promoting, or if there's people on here right now that are like, I am like one step away, right? They have their eye on the prize and they are still going, but they had that little moment where they're like, <gasps> like, oh my gosh, we're past the half month. I'm not where I want to be. Cause we, that's literally how we all feel. I remember thinking that for ambassador and I'm like, you know what? But when you just keep going, like it just happens. So give, yeah. what's your best advice or what do you tell your team at this point in the month that are going for promotions? Sure. I, there's a couple of things. So one would be, Hey, that was at five days left in the month and I needed over 20,000. I ended at 120,000. So 40,000 came in in the last five days. Which is so crazy. So there's a couple of things. One week is like a year in this business. I mean, even if you only had seven days, that's a really long time in this business. And magic happens when you have momentum going. So if you had the freak out mid month and now you're like going, okay, I've got this big goal and I'm like, not even close. I need like another 6,000 in volume or something or whatever it is. Okay. 5,000, 4,000, whatever, whatever feels big to you. Here's what I would say to do. First of all, you know, your goal is your steps to success. So if you haven't hit your steps to success immediately, there is one thing to focus on. Okay. And then the next thing would be is to take out your chart. You want to know your projected volume. So between you and your enroller or your upline or whatever, you've got your roadmap that knows exactly what you need. Total GV, what every single box needs, how many distributors you need, all that kind of stuff. Okay. Broken down. And then you're going to look at your chart and go, who's posting, who kind of wants this, but they're just not enrolling. Who's like off in la la land. They post every now and then. And they're kind of wackadoo, but you kind of need them to do something in this box so they can be a 400 box. You know what I mean? Okay. If they're showing up, if they're posting every now and then, that means they want something out of this. Okay. Nobody just willingly gives $99 or even $20 to a stranger for no reason, right? They're here for a reason. So then what you do is you dig in and you teach. And I would reach out to every single person and you might say, well, I've already done that, but did you teach them? And don't be afraid to teach, okay? So if you've got somebody that's like, I'm not enrolling, don't go, just keep going. It's gonna, you're gonna pay off. Just keep following up. It's gonna work for you. That's not the answer, okay? The answer is stop and take a look at their social media. Go, okay, no problem. Together, we can figure this out. I go straight to their social media, look at their posting. Nine times out of 10, that's the problem, okay? Then teach them how to post. Somebody asked about life posts. Uh, Laura asked about life and business and product posts so that it's not too spammy. A lot of that is I'll take pictures of my girls. If you don't have kids, take pictures of you and your dog or you out at target or you in your car. And it's pictures of your day. Okay. And talking about your business. If you go to my Facebook, I had a unicorn cup that one of my daughters gave me for Christmas talking about my skinny coffee and starting my morning, but it's a picture of me. So then it's not spammy. People all the time will follow me, not be my customers or distributors. 
and say they like following me just because I'm sharing about my girls in my life. You know what I mean? And in the middle of that, I'll tell a funny story about one of the girls. Or today, Nova did really great on her sight words and reading test at school. You know what I mean? So I talk about that or whatever and mix that in. Then, yeah, there's before and afters because that shows that the products work. But if you're doing a get healthy mix of those, people won't get irritated with you. Okay. So don't be afraid to go for that in that way. So you're doing your good job, but then look on there and go break it down. Okay. Who can I teach to just get their first four loyal customers? That's it. Can I just teach the person in this box? That's a zero box. And I need it to be at 400. Can I just teach them to get four loyal customers? Cause guess what? If those four loyal customers total 200 BV, well, great. Now I only need 200 in that box. And I look at the whole chart that way. Okay. And then I look at, so-and-so got four all season. They went real quiet. All of a sudden they're like gone. Do you think they don't want this to work for them? I don't know. Did you ask? I would stop and ask them. And then I would teach them, change your profile picture. Here's what I would suggest. Making a clear picture, go by the window. See how this makes a difference. Teach them what you're doing that's working for you. If you're enrolling your steps to success, that means you're doing something. If you've enrolled an LC or a DT at all ever in your business, you did something right, okay? You don't have to be a rock star leader. You just got to teach them what you did, what worked for you. Okay. And then look at your whole chart and break it down and see who can I teach. Okay. And then for your Ruby people, don't just teach them Ruby. If that's what you need, teach them Emerald mm -hmm. over chart, teach everybody. I don't look at anybody on my chart as a 400 box. In fact, let me show you this. Now this is not going to be accurate, but I'm just going to show you anyhow. Okay. So when you look on my wall, I've got this big giant thing that's totally not updated, but Here's Andrew, my husband. Okay. If, I don't know if you can see that kind of, we can see it. Okay. So Andrew was executive in October, but now he has five working legs. This is the old school charting, right? <laughs> but yep. she's going for Ruby. She's going for Emerald right here. She's going double diamond. She's going double diamond. She's going triple diamond. Now, do I need all of these people to do all of that? No. But what I'm doing is I'm empowering every single person, whether they're on my chart or off my chart, whether they're in a 400 box or they're at 20 levels down from me or whatever the heck it would be. I'm empowering as many people as I can to be a successful business owner. I will teach every single person in my organization. I don't care who you are or who enrolled you. I will teach you if you want to learn. Okay. Or I'll teach the leader and the leader and I teach or something like that. Okay. But that's how you're going to bring in volume all over the place. That total GV is the biggest kicker. Okay. Your 400 boxes, we can figure a bunch of that out, but the total GV, get everybody on your chart going somewhere. And then you not where you need them to go. Okay. That's the biggest thing is don't look at them and go, well, I need them to go Ruby and they just got four little customers and that's it. Okay. Well, let's teach them to go executive. Can they get two teammates? Okay, break it down. What's their next goal for their business to be successful? That's how your business will be successful, but teach. Hold hands with anyone that wants to hold your hand. Okay, if they're psycho, hmm, <laughs> let the rope go a little bit and they'll eventually drift out to sea. Okay, <laughs> you know, keep bringing in new. Part of this is if you're sitting around with the same old Joe Schmoes that have been around for a while, Mm -hmm. Okay. You might need to do that steps of success sister and bring in some new fishies that want to go for this thing with you. You know what I mean? You'll sign the runners, but I'm also looking for the walkers because a walker can help me fill a 400 box. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I think that's something that I feel like where you're talking about teaching and that is something where sometimes people think they should just know. The truth is, is that yeah, they, they don't. just don't. You know, no. and, and honestly, if they're not asking you questions, then they sure as heck don't know. And yeah. so I always say that, you know what, I probably didn't have to have somebody tell me what to post. But the thing is, is when I was building, I was asking a ton of questions. So ask yourself, like, is the distributor that you enrolled, are they coming to you asking questions? If not, you got to reach out and see if you can teach them. You know, and you do have to do the handholding. And I say that to people because like last month, right, we had so many people join for the $20. We still have the $20 coupon codes. They're coming in. But people are like, they're not really moving. I'm like, but what have you given them? You Let know, me say this. 
You know what, sister? Every single one of my $20 people, there's 15 of them this month. There was 20. I mean, I used every single daggum code. All of them. All of them tried. Every single one. Some of them stuck. Some of them are building themselves. Yep. All of them tried. I got every single faster bonus. And See, they did it for me, not me doing it for them. And because you, you taught. That's the but thing. I you them. didn't just only worry about Kelly's steps to success. Like, you mm -hmm. know, you know how to enroll, but you mm -hmm. went through and you taught them. And I think that's one thing where people think, oh, I like, I got them signed up. I did my job. And it's like, oh no, you're just getting started, you know? And so I feel like that's really good because I think that's a par portion of things where people kind of think that somebody should just know the truth is, is they're not going to, but if you reach out and you can teach them to get four customers, guess what? That person's confidence is like on a high and not because you gave them four customers, but you actually taught them and showed them like, no, your people want this if you're sharing it, you know? And so I think that's when people take off, you know, not everyone sees it right away or not everyone just is a natural, like it's just, that's just not the way it works, you know? So I love that you talk about that and just reaching out to teaching because I do feel like that is a portion where I'm like, if I ask a question, I'm like, Hey, like what's this? And they're like, Oh, I don't really know. And I'm like, Oh, we got to know. Like we, <laughs> we got to know what they have for breakfast. We got to know. Yep. If you guys are going to talk to them you, every day. You have to know. Right. And mm -hmm. so communication is super key. So I love all of that. And so the last thing, Kelly, like if you knew what you know now, four years into the biz this business, when you first started, like, what would you tell yourself? I literally ask every single person this. Cause I'm like, man, the stuff that we learn. <laughs> It's like, I would have been done a whole long time ago. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like exactly. Right. Or like, I'm like, it would not have taken me that long. Mm -mm. Triple. You know, like I think about that and I'm like, gosh, Sarah, it's okay. Oh gosh. You know, and if it were, if the one thing I could say, if I could just like shake myself and go, what the heck were you so scared of? What were you so scared of? Like, seriously, yeah. that was it. I was so it took me a week to put up my first post. Stacy stuck me in a 400 box way down, down on her chart. <laughs> Cause she was like, I don't know. She had to like, you know, beg me to join in the first place. And I was like, Oh heck no. You know, I mean, I love people. We, that's what we did. You know, we did ministry for a long time. So we're, we've been in leadership for a long, long time. That's what we do. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I thought, well, I don't know. I just don't know about this kind of thing. You know what I mean? I was yeah. so scared. If I could go back and shake myself and go, what are you so afraid of? It's just loving people through a computer. Like what's wrong with you? <laughs> you know what I mean? And even when I got at that stuck place, I did have some leaders quit. I had one strong leader who went through cancer. You know, we had a baby, we had a, we had a major life happening to all my leadership <laughs> in like, I think 2017, it was like crazy town, you know, lots of death. It was crazy. Life just happens, but it happened yeah. across my team. It was crazy down. After that, I just got, got stuck back in fear. And honestly, fear has been, Stacy and I always say more than the income, more than anything else, what it works has given me that is invaluable to me is life change on the inside. Mm -hmm. Because I didn't realize that fear was such a major part of me as a person as fearless as I am in everything else, this business, okay, shined the light on the fear that was inside of me, okay? And it was major. It was major. Not cute. It was ugly. But in October, I was like, girlfriend, you best to put on your big girl panties or this ship is going down and you're going down with it because you're not a quitter because you're a dumb idiot. Okay. So you're like, not quitting. I'm going down. <laughs> okay. It's either sink or swim. Yeah. And I got tired of being down. Okay. And if you are tired of sitting there looking at a chart or looking at these promotions and these bonuses going, well, what's wrong with me? I can be a, why can't I be an ambassador diamond? I like people. I know how to work hard. Why can't you? Nothing wrong with you, boo, but your mind has got to come to a place where you're deciding, I'll do whatever it takes. I'll do whatever it takes to make this work. I will add a thousand friends right now. You know what I mean? I will get up. If it's, if you're not a morning person, I will go to bed on time and then I will get up at 5 a.m. Okay. I will do, I will take my stinking thinking. It goes in the toilet with all the potty words and everything else and we flush it down. And that's what we tell our girls, right? If you've got little kids, that's potty words. We don't use those potty words, right? 
So I say, well, that's where my stinking thinking goes. In the toilet, I'm gonna flush the mug because it ain't getting me anywhere, right? Your fear's not making you more income. Right? You're not like going forward because of fear, right? So I'm like that and all my thought processes of nobody wants this like I want this. Okay, nobody's working as hard as nobody wants this like I do. Nobody wants this with me. I kept looking for where's my unicorn? Where's my runner? I just need a runner. But what happened is I decided I'm the runner. Mm -hmm. I'm the captain of my ship. You're the captain of your ship. And if fear is the captain, girlfriend, your boat's going down. Your boat's going down quick. <laughs> you got to take a hold of that and go, I'm deciding on the inside. I'm making a change. What positive things can you do to encourage that change? Well, you can get up and you can listen to YouTube. You can read a book. You can fill your heart. You know what I mean? So that when negativity or angry people or idiots or rude people or discouragement comes up against you, you've got a sword to fight back with and go, negativity can't sit next to me because I had some negative leaders, okay, on my team. Okay, and I was like, how am I ever going to be successful? I'm looking around going, this is not who I am and this is not successful thinking, okay? <laughs> so I decided. If you're negative, you can't sit next to me. And I started saying it on my Zooms. <laughs> I was like, nope, negativity can't sit next to me, boo. You got to scooch over. Because right now, if you're negative, it's I'm going to go down with you. And I'm not going down. So I can't listen to it. Okay? When they come to me with drama, because I don't do drama in the first place, you come to me with drama, I can't do it right now. Sorry. I, I'm on a whole nother level right now, which that might sound rude. It's, but I'm not trying to be rude. I've got to protect my mind and my heart. And if I let your drama get in my life, when I don't let anyone else's drama get in my life, okay? I don't do drama. I just don't do it. Be nice to people. They'll be nice to you. I don't know. Right. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. But if you got drama, we can't sit next to each other right now. We can't hang out. You got to go change. Because I talked to Pam Souter and I was like, okay, Pam, what do I do? If I got negative people, but that's not who I am. Okay, that's not where I sit. I don't sit there. And she was like, well, you get what you allow. I'm like, okay. How do I not allow? <laughs> it's like you don't respond to it. And you require them to come up to you. So I was like, okay, I'm telling my team, we want to do power hours, 630 Central Standard Time. That's 430 for me. Okay, no problem. I'll be there. And they watch me, me be there in my pajamas every morning, 430. I'm like, is that crazy? Yeah, but I got a crazy goal and I'll do whatever it takes. I'll right. get up. And, you know what I mean? Yeah. And you know what? It's funny because like my team also knows like if they come at me with something negative, I'll, like my first question is like, well, A, if it's excuses, I'm like, okay, I kind of just let it. And it's funny because people will just keep talking and I'm like, oh, okay, so eventually like we're going to get down to the problem because I'm not, a, I'm not responding to excuses. Because honestly, you guys, we could all think of excuses, right? We're all busy. Like, I mean, I could literally list off 30 excuses for today or for whatever day. But the thing is like, I don't, I don't want to have an excuse. So I'm not going to have that. Right. And so I like literally let those messages run <laughs> and, and they just talk to themselves for a long time. And it's kind of crazy, but I'm the same way. It's like, I honestly, like we can talk about your excuses, but it will never help you grow as a person. So what I want to do is like, let's get down to what, what are these things doing to stop you that you want to do? Like, and let's figure out why you want to do what you want to do. Cause as soon as we figure out how much it means to you, like you're actually going to toss your excuses away and I'm not going to hear them anymore, you know? And so I, I love that because you do have to just say no to that stuff. You know, it's like, you just have to be like, if that's where you're at, like, I mean, even as a leader, I'm like, how is that person can't be a triple diamond if that's their mindset. And the thing is, you guys, is there's other people out there. Like that's the truth. And so you want to be somebody's person. Like it, there's so much fun in linking arms with people in literally doing the unimaginable. Right. But it's like, it cannot happen if I'm trying to take Kelly down or Kelly's trying to take this. Like, and that's the thing, like even with back order products, I get it. Like it's frustrating. Guess what? I was here for the rep shortage real old. Right. So it didn't stop us. You guys, we didn't care, you know? And it's like, Oh, so when people keep telling me, I'm like, if it's stopping that one person, go find the three people who don't care that they have to wait six weeks to get an awesome supplement that's going to help them lose 30 freaking pounds that they've been wanting to lose for five years. Like, who can, you know, and I'm like, tell people. And so that's the thing that I do, I absolutely love is, it's like, you do have to 
not let certain things in. And I mean, at the end of the day, that's what it comes down to, you know? And when you're in, when you only have so much time in your day, like, would you rather spend time enrolling, teaching, doing this type of thing? Or do you really want to sit there and entertain just crap that's going on? Like we all have crap, you know, it's like, that's not fun to give attention to. And so the one thing I was going to ask you, Kelly, is, um, you know, something that really changed for me that I needed was be going triple. I finally stopped waiting for somebody to do my power hours or which we didn't have power hours at the time, but I'm just saying I didn't, I no longer waited for people to do the calls where we had to type in like an ID and like do this thing. I've started doing them myself. I started doing, we, we used to do Google Hangouts. We didn't have Zoom like this, you guys, right? So I figured out Google Hangout. I didn't care if I had 10 people on. 10 people that are serious about it is better than 30 people who are half passing anything, you know? And so that was one thing. So what do you, do you kind of feel the same? Like you finally were like, okay, you do have amazing leaders with it, with above you, you know, Stacy and Sherry Lynn and all those things, but you started hosting your own power hours for your team. Right. Mm -hmm. Because yeah. here's the trick is that your people sign up with you, you know what I mean? And they're going to do what you do. And I did I, for a long time, John and Sherry do so much for our team that like, it, she's always like, do this with me, do this with me, do this with me. But she's a different person and is not as connected to my people as I am. So I kept letting her and I would join and do what she's doing. But it's not the same as when you get in with your group and you hone in and you guys are like commenting on each other's stuff. You, I, I know their lives, not Sherry. You know what I mean? I know what their struggles are. I know what their fears are. I know when somebody dies. I know when they're getting a divorce. I know all the goods and the bads. You know what I mean? I don't, we don't play like there's not bads, you know? And so, but if I, if I'm letting them, they don't connect it's too far away. Too many degrees of seven degrees of Kevin Bacon. Okay. Too many degrees away from the leader. You know what I mean? And they're looking to you going, well, I join with you or the person under you, you know what I mean? And when you, when people see you take ownership and they see you be passionate and full of fire, it catches immediately. Mm -hmm. I just decided I got on a zoom and I was like, we're going somewhere and you're either coming with me or you're getting left behind <laughs> and you don't want to get left behind. And they're like, no, we don't. We're coming. <laughs> <laughs> you're so, like, it's D-Day, friends. Like I had D-Day yesterday and it's yours today. No, exactly. I knew that. And that was something that I do encourage and I get, and I know it's scary to kind of like, it's not even that you're breaking away, but you're just, like you said, you're taking ownership and it's like, your people want to hear from you and they do want to hear from other people like you and other people on occasion like that. But most of the time they want to hear from you. They want to do what you're doing. And so if you're doing those things, guess what? Your team is going to start doing those things and you're going to have awesome layered leadership, you guys. And so Kelly, thank you so much for being on tonight. You're the best. I kind of went, I went over, this is my, I told you I'm kind of long winded, but I did want to like, I was on your Zoom the other day and I was just like, which I already know you, but I was like, oh my gosh, I love this. Like so many people need to hear what you were sharing. And the thing is, is you don't need to have a perfect path, you guys. And like, and no one does. So if that's what you're looking for is like nothing to ever happen in your life or, you know, not to fall down a few times. Like, honestly, you don't get to grow into, you know, triple and double diamond and presidential leaders without falling down a few times you know? And so we've all done it. And so I just loved your story. I love your passion and just all your little tidbits. So we love that you are on. I've literally, people are like, I freaking love her. I go, I told you, I told you, I knew you would. If I love her, so will you. And so we love you so much. Um, we are cheering you on for ambassador. Thank so you. I'm just so excited for you. And thank you again for spending your night with us. Absolutely. I love being with you guys. I'm excited for you too. And Hey, here's the thing you, there's nothing wrong with you. Okay. So if you get stuck thinking this works for everybody else, not for me, I guess it just isn't meant to be. That's not true. Just needs to take an adjustment and go, I'm not going to get discouraged. It's just time to grow. That's what I tell my team every single week, brand new distributors. I'm telling them if you're doing the tasks, don't get discouraged. 
change your thoughts. I'm not going to get discouraged. It's just time to grow. And you make the little adjustments and you keep going. And that's how you're going to promote and go forward. Yep. You know what I mean? Yep. It just takes, it just takes growing. And you guys, that just takes some time and it takes a decision. So um, and nobody just starts out where we're at. That's the truth, right? We've got backbones now. We like fear, we, we feel it, but we're like, bye. <laughs> See you later. So thank you so much again, Kelly. Um, we hope you have an awesome rest of the month with your team. We appreciate thank you. So much.